I did my biology role model project on Jacqueline K. Barton. Um, growing up, she attended an all-girls school that lacked a sufficient math and science program and so focused solely on the arts and music. Um, however, one of her teachers, her math teacher, insisted that she be allowed to take calculus at the boys' school and hence her journey of becoming a pioneering woman in science began. She took her first chemistry class um, at Barnard College and fell in love with the subject, um, her professors, and also the lab research. Since then, she's completed her PhD at Columbia and also began working there, and um, specifically as the only woman on the chemistry faculty. Uh, this theme was a common one in her life and is one thing that I admire most about her. Specifically, my admiration for her stems from the fact that she is a pioneering woman in many science fields and she stood out and became prominent enough to not only gain recognition, but also position and be successful. Um, she didn't let lack of opportunity stop her in her passions and interests and she never settled from high school into her postdoctorate career. One example is um, her even turning down a job offer at Yale because she decided she was more interested in working at Columbia. Within her career, Barton is involved in the fields of inorganic chemistry, biophysics, and biochemistry, and her work is basically a mixture of all of them. Um, Research-wise, though, she's focused on questions relating to DNA electrical conductivity, how it occurs, how it doesn't occur in damaged DNA, and what this means for the identification and fixing of damaged DNA by repair complexes. One example of the further research into DNA damage and repair is the most recent paper published in which Barton was a co-author. Um, with the knowledge that deficiencies in DNA mismatch repair, or MMR, are a common characteristic of many colorectal cancer cases, Barton and others developed mismatch targeted small molecules. Um, specifically, they created potent metal complexes called rhodium metallo inserters, which detect and tar target destabilized regions of the DNA that are incorrect. They use methods of crystallography and also a fluorescent metalloinserter probe, which lights up upon interaction with thermodynamically unstable mismatches. Um, and that showed that the cellular target of the rhodium metalloinserters was, in fact, DNA lesions or mismatches. So far in her research, she has discovered the electrical conductivity of DNA, specifically long range electron transfer through DNA base stacking. Um, and this allows for further investigation into learning how the lack of electrical conductivity signals damage DNA and how this is a potential way for DNA repair proteins to locate and then repair damaged DNA. However, outside of her work, um, she spends a lot of time with her family. Um, her husband is a fellow chemist as well, and they enjoy spending time together along with his son and their daughter together. Uh, she especially enjoys swimming, cooking, and golfing, and those are some of her hobbies. And that is all that I have learned about Jacqueline K. Barton, and yeah, she's a super cool woman.